Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can log on to interview.com and you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm going to talk about very simple Java entry question. What is the difference between overloading and overriding in Java? Overloading means reusing the same method name with different arguments and perhaps a different return type is called as overloading in Java. Whereas overriding means using the same method name with identical arguments okay, and return type is known as overriding. Let's see an example so that you can understand. Overloading using the same name, same method name, method name with different arguments. So I have a method called public int add and I have another method called public int add int a int b, pub public int add and int int a and long b. Just for example, I've given like this. So here the method name are, are method names are same but but with different arguments okay so the advantage here is better readability so in your real life program uh, applications you can use same name with different arguments so that your uh, the the way you read the program it will be really useful and it will be e easy it will be easy for you to understand the program say for example here from the name name itself we can understand that okay this add method calculates these two integers addition of these two integers and this add does something with int a and int b two arguments okay so overloading helps you to improve the readability of the program and you can easily understand the program that's where it comes into picture this is overloading let's see overriding Overriding means the child class will override a method from the parent class. Okay. Overriding means you have a parent class, you have a method, okay, that is you reused by child class. Okay. So for example, public in calculate interest. There is a method that is already available in the parent class the child class they are re reusing it but one of the child class you think that i don't want to reuse the reuse the parent class method i want to give my own implementation i don't want to use the method that is given by the parent because i want to give a different implementation so what should i do you have to mark that method as override that means i am not interested to reuse the method implementation given by the parent but I want to give my own implementation in that case I will override it okay so so while while calling this method this method will be invoked okay the other other child classes are not interested to give their own implementation they want to reuse the parent class implementation okay so they don't worry about it but only say one of the class wants to override it one specific class like credit account debit account does not bother they want to reuse it they won't hinder it okay so that's where override comes into picture hope this video is useful for your java into preparation thank you and all the best for your interview if you like this video please press the like button thank you